got it all taped up. Now I'm going to clean it. I've already sanded this thing down already and uh, just kind of took the shine off of it, just kind of hit some of the rough spots, scraped it off. So now I'm going to use some lacquer thinner. clean it off where I did some sanding on it. Get that old that old chalk and stuff off of it. All right, folks, let's get down to the essentials. What you're gonna have to have. So, if you're gonna do any spraying, you're gonna have to have you a good air compressor. And that I do have, praise God. <laughs> That's a 220, runs on 220, so I'm thankful to have that. So let's let that get full. Got some air separator here. Got my air hose coming out here. All right, let's get that set up. And, uh, We'll go from here. All right, folks, let's get down to the essentials. Uh, I bought this at Tractor Supply. Of course, they didn't have the hardener that day, so I had to order it. So I got glossy black tractor truck implement paint looks like it's the magic brand and then of course you got to get a hardener you don't have to but uh, I recommend it because you get your gloss and it a hardener and your paint lasts longer so this is eight ounces and eight ounces to a gallon of a hardener for that so that's that's a must got me a uh, just a plastic container to mix my paint in to stir it uh, I had some reducer or paint thinner now you can use lacquer thinner too uh, you kind of have to get some of this anyway this is handy to have because it cleans your your uh, tools up when you're done and your spray gun and all that so you definitely need lacquer thinner but you can thin your paint down so I'm going to try using some of this I had from another project. It's it's reducer, but it's paint thinner. It's going to work the same. And then I got me some got me some filters. Harbor Freight Special. Always filter your paint. And then my uh, over here. This is pretty neat. I picked this up from Harbor Freight too. This little handy dandy holder here. As you see, say every time you need to mix your paint, you just set your gun right here like that. Take the top off of it and your filter. filters go right on top of this like that and you just pour your paint in this filter and it falls down in your gun that's pretty neat 
picked this up from Harbor Freight. This is a pretty good one. They got some good stuff. It's a central nomadic uh, sprayer. And then I picked, I, I'm, I always use an inline filter for water traps. So I want no water in my paint. So this is a gravity fed gun. Really good guns. But I like about this holder. Look, you can always set it, set it down here while you're mixing your paint. And uh, as you see, and you know, when you water in your gun, you gets it out. Got your air pressure here, which is good. So I'll adjust that as we go, and before I start, I'll I'll spray some on a on a little on something to see how I want to adjust my my levers and, and on my nozzles here up and down. So so that's a mess. So there you go. So that's the stuff we're going to be using right there. And uh, so let's get let's get to mixing this paint. All right, folks, before I get started, I'm going to put a little fat lacquer thinner in the gun and make sure it's going to spray out okay, just a little bit. It kind of gets things flowing and kind of cleans it up a little bit. You can actually spray this on something and check your flow with it if you want. Maybe good so you don't waste your paint. If you can see that by just pushing that standard comes out so that's a good thing. Maybe you can see that. I kind of like that. But... So just doing the stuff like that keeps it unclogged. I kind of like that flow right there. I can see it. I'm just going to spray all that lacquer thinner out. Always wear your uh, PPE, your, you know, with COVID and everything going on. I've seen people wearing these things are pretty nice, but, but all these fumes and stuff is pretty toxic. It's always a good idea, definitely, to wear you know, a face mask. Can't go wrong there. paint thinning it down like, to our liking and I'm gonna get I'm gonna work with half this can so I'm gonna put half of this bottle in here four ounces okay so I'm just gonna make it easy This implement paint is uh, oil base, of course. All right, that looks about half of it right there. So 
So I'm going to take my catalyst here. So that's eight ounces right there, so I'm going to put four in it. When you look inside here, you can see it. On the outside, it's backwards, but inside you can see it, so that's pretty neat. Like I said, this hardener is going to do what it says. It's going to harden it up and it's going to put a shine on it. So that's it. Set this to the side. Just try to keep it covered over here so nothing gets in it. Like I said, I'm going to put filter. I'm going to filter it anyway here in a minute. start mixing my paint. It's really thick. So let's start reducing it down. Now, what ingredients is this? Who knows? I'm just going to pour a little bit in here and mix it around. Mix it to your liking.
there you go folks I uh, purchased this dump trailer got me some uh, new tires I painted the wheels and yeah it was a little rusty on the outside I scraped it down sanded a little bit sprayed some implement paint on it it's gonna do me the good the rest of my life uh, can't move no dump trailer this is about a 12 foot of it I'm well pleased with it and you know for one time I'm gonna put some paint on it and after that I'll it rushed down, I'll spray the paint on it. Spray down, but I want to do that real Built good before Jesus I started using it. But, uh, thank you for watching the videos. Hope you enjoyed this. It was, it was, it was fun. It was hard to do. The old tractor implement paint from uh, Tractor Supply. I think, yep, time to get you some parts when you got to have a gun and harbor plate special to get some air to fix it. But you can do it. So, there you go. I hope so. It was fun for me anyway. But anyway, uh, thank you, and as always, God bless you.